welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Gerlanda and thanks for all the new subscribers I feel like I haven't made a video in so long but I'm back with a simple prom dress transformation so here's the prom dress my co-worker got and the corset part of it was see-through and she wanted to be non-see-through so I came through and did just that for her and today's video is just gonna be a little talk through short easy video and I will be doing a voiceover so let's get into the video so right here I'm just gonna show you guys how see-through it was it was kind of sheer not that sheer but you could see her skin through it and what we did was went to Joanne and got this champagne glittery fabric I'm pretty sure we only got half of a yard which I'm pretty sure it was like ten dollars and we got Joanne's coupon y'all get the app so y'all can get discounts and yeah so I just took that glittery fabric and hand sewed it underneath the corset so right here i already finished some of it i finished an easy stitch going along the bottom and then i did one side of the corset already So going in onto the other side, I pinned the fabric down so all of the half a yard was not used. There was still some left over and all I used was a light colored thread that matched the dress color and I used double, I double threaded it so I, I didn't use one but looped it into a needle and used double and tied it at the end so right here i'm trying to show you guys the corset was double layered with sheer so what i did when i was sewing was i only sewed through one layer of the sheer so right here to go by the cups i just took a long rectangle piece of fabric then cut slits where the cups of the bust were in order so it can lay flat on the sides and I went in with that needle and double thread and I just on the sides of the cup bust cups I only went down half and then went a along the whole top of the corset only going through one layer of the sheer corset. Y'all, do not mind the ash between my fingers. <laughs> but um, as you guys can see, with the double thread, you do not have to do close stitches. I'm doing stitches about half an inch. And I just went along that cup for a couple, like three stitches. And then went around the perim perimeter and the top of the dress until I got to the end and as you guys see me flipping up the fabric that's just making sure I'm going through one layer of the sheer and once I got done with that I cut the fabric exactly to the length of where 
the zipper was like the zipper attachment was only because the way I'm going to sew the fabric onto the interior of the dress is attaching it to the I don't really know how to say this but the side of the zipper so I just did loops but into the side of the zipper and that's how I connected the end of the fabric to the end of the side of the zipper so that it doesn't get caught in the zipper if you guys know what I mean. So as you guys can see, I just did a simple loop around between the end of the fabric and the side of the zipper. I just kept on looping it all the way up. Didn't take much thread and at the end I cut that thread and I just tied it together a couple of knots so that it does not pop or break always secure your thread. Here I'm just cutting off that extra thread on top of the knot I just made and then I'm also going to cut off the fabric off the perimeter of the corset and also the extra fabric on the inside of the cups i'm just gonna cut a u and as you guys can see here this is how the loops look by the zipper and that's how the interior looked yes i did keep an inch and a half of fabric on the bottom of the waist stitches only because it was kind of loose on her and it was just to create friction so here's how it looked on the mannequin when it was all done yeah no equipment needed only a thread only thread and a needle such a beautiful prom dress yeah so their prom theme was enchanted and here's my beautiful co-worker with her beautiful cousin yes they absolutely killed that they were gorgeous and yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's helpful so with that being said, I hope you guys give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also turn on post notifications because there may be more videos coming in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.